How's it going? Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. Alright, so if you watched the last video, I completely wrecked the, the folder that I just heat treated and all that. So, we're making a new blade and I decided to go ahead and make a fixed blade because it's been a while. I'm trying to, I might even do a compound grind on it. We'll see. So, I'm just going to rough grind this and then we'll take it to the mill. Now, I'm going to have to do this one for Instagram. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to split them up both, but all right, let's get to it. I'm just gonna shape it here real quick, and we can refine it on the horizontal later. You can see I always rough sketch my blades, so. <laughs> Next is, uh, I guess I'll do the horizontal, then we'll do the jimping and all that. I'll do this with for Instagram. <laughs> Let's get it cleaned up. And then, uh, over to the mill. I never clean up here. I just let it, whatever it is, with the vertical, because I like the lines going across. But everywhere else, I like it smooth. Let's do it. All right, the rest I'll do with the big wheel. That way, the big wheel's a lot smoother. We just gotta get in here with the small wheel. All right, we got our little blade here fixed up. <laughs> ready to go. Here's our fixed blade. Getting ready to get fixed up. <laughs> To the mill. Woo! It's been so long since I've done a fixed blade, I forgot that I needed two blocks. I'm sitting here with the one block trying to figure out why I can't get these on. <laughs> I got two cameras set up again, so uh, I guess we'll still call this vlogging. I guess more like my camera obsession. <laughs> if you followed me on Instagram, you saw I put a whole mount up and a slider over here, and here we go. Alright, let's do some jimping. You know, I have a whole bunch of collets and all that, but I realized it's just so much easier to do it with a, this. you know, as long as this is pretty much in tune, it's not perfect, unless you spend a couple hundred dollars on one, but yeah, so far I haven't had too many problems. Now that I say that's going to mess me all up. <laughs> and once again, I always put my thumb here. Because each grip is a little bit different. I'll probably come, I'm going to start here and come back this way. We'll see how it looks. Because I don't think I'm going to go that far. But we'll see. Forward, touch off. Zero, zero, zero. Let's do it. Now, let's see where we go. Point one, two. No, it's point two, isn't it? Point two. Oh, man, I forgot how to do all this. <laughs> we'll just go to point two five. 
Lock it down. Be even with that. All right. Touch off. Zero. Here we go. From now on, I'm just gonna go forward and when I see a touch, I'm gonna zero it out and then we'll go from there. Try something a little different, see how it looks. We are ready for bevels on this one. <laughs> now I just have to take this one and painstakingly put it together until we get it down to here. But that's why I'm not putting it together. I already got it here like that. Pretty good, hopefully. But we'll ballpark it. We got a ways to go. But it's such a little bit you take off. So we're trying out the counterboard. I made sure to put it into the one, two, three block. Then we'll connect it here. Boom. Put it in. Get the clamp on her. Double check her. Sometimes I use an adjustable wrench. Sometimes I use pliers. But just to put a little bit of extra torque on them. Especially when you only got one clamp. Hit the DRO. Just like everything else. When I touch off, I'm going to zero it out. And flip it over and do the same. Let's test them out. Boom! <laughs> nice and smooth. Yeah! Tomorrow's bevels on both of these. And hopefully I can do a compound grind still. We'll have to see. And then a uh, heat treat. Woo! Been a long time since I broke out the one inch wheel. I got this on my, uh, on the old handle, put a bolt through it, tightened it down, put a clamp on it, it's not going anywhere. That way I'll get a better grip for bevels. I'm wondering if I should do a compound grind on this. We'll see. I I'd rather ruin this knife than this knife, but this would look pretty badass with a compound grind. <laughs> I already did that side for Instagram, so. <laughs> Let's do this side. My mind's playing tricks on me. This side looks longer than this side, but this side looks deeper. <laughs> ah. Oh well. <laughs> All right, let's put the flat platen on and do that. They're actually here. I'll come back with that. I, I gotta go up to a 120 on this. So I'll just. It'll be the same thing I just did. Before I forget, if you want to see, I got a whole playlist on compound grinds. I put that up in the cards. Got the, I got a brand new 50. We're not hanging the belt over any, and just, let's get to it. So I'm gonna leave it here because we're pretty thin. I mean, we're not pretty thin, but I don't want to go back and forth, back and forth. I can do that after heat treat. I just wanted to get it set in 
Yeah, I think we're gonna have to take these out to here, but we'll do that after heat treat. I'll be back when I get on this one. Break it out to bad boy. Give it all 14 inches. <laughs> all right, got one side done. I almost forgot to drill the holes on this, so I, I stopped and did that. So I'm just gonna do that, and I'll meet you when I'm uh, putting the clay on for heat treat tomorrow. Yeah, man. Now we just gotta get the clay on them and everything like that, and boom. Should be good. Just had to remember to take the dykem off. I forgot that one last time. <laughs> boom. All right. Time to get these all done up. I'm not used to having a clean shop and putting everything out there and clean it up as I go. <laughs> had to tell them I had to find everything again. <laughs> Wonder if we'll be able to get both these knives, probably not. Alright, I think this one's done. <laughs> we drained every inch out of her. <laughs> I got all these stuff down in the links. All the cement, all the tools I use, Amazon links, all that. Gives the channel a little kickback, no cost to you, all that good stuff. I haven't said that in a while. <laughs> well, there was all that problem with Amazon, you know, in the COVID for a while, so. We messed that one up. Let's fix it. <laughs> Let them rest till tomorrow, then I'll clean them up a bit and uh, yeah. Ha ha ha. Heat treat day tomorrow. All right, make sure to like, give me some comments, let me know how it's going with you and your knife making, all that good stuff. I'll make sure to put, let's see, uh, compound grinds right here. I'll put the blogs right here, put my subscribe button right here. The website's here if you want knives or shirts like that. Amazon links are all on there too. All that good stuff. All right, hope you're having a great day. And as always, take it easy. <laughs>